Part five, treachery. Never overlook a fool. Everything seemed great in looking up for Lord Nobunaga and Yasuke as well. Again, the priests wrote that the word around was Yasuke was to be made a lord. All gossip cannot always be disregarded. If word of this got back to the priest, one Yasuke may have also made an impression in battle. The lord would not promote a simple large servant to the lord status unless Yasuke proved himself in battle. Again, he must have fought in battles and well for the lord. But this was soon to come to an end as an underling was to usurp power and betray the lord. Akichi Metsuhade, 1528 to 1582. Akichi Misahide was a samurai and general who lived during the Sengoku period. He is best known for his betrayal of Odo Nobunaga, which led to Nobunaga's death at the Honono-ji incident. Here is an overview of Metsuhade's life and the context surrounding the betrayal of Nobunaga. Akiche Mitsuhide was born in 1528 in Mino Providence. He served various lords before entering service of Nord Odo Nobunaga, one of the most powerful Damayo of the time. Mitsuhide quickly rose through the ranks due to his skills and loyalty. Mitsuhide played a crucial role in many of Nobunaga's campaigns, including the Siege of Inhambayame Castle and the Battle of Nakashino. He was also instrumental in Nobunaga's efforts to centralize power in Japan. A betrayal. Mitsuhide's reasons for betraying Lord Nobunaga are unclear, but several theories exist. Some historians believe Mitsuhide felt humiliated by Nobunaga's harsh treatment and insults which damaged his pride and honor. Another theory suggests that Mitsuhide saw an opportunity to seize power for himself or was motivated by personal grievances and ambition. Additionally, some speculate that Mitsuhide might have been influenced by another political and military figure who were opposed to Nobunaga's dominance. The Incident at Hononoji On June 21, 1582, Akichi Mitsuhide launched a surprise attack at Odo Nobunaga, who was sitting at the Hononoji Temple in Kyoto. Nobunaga was caught off guard and realizing that escape was impossible committed seppuku to avoid capture. Mitsuhide's forces then moved to secure control of Kyoto and consolidate power. However, Mitsuhide's hold on power was short-lived. Just 13 days after the betrayal, he was defeated by Tayotome Hideyoshu, another of Nobunaga's top generals at the Battle of Yamazaki. Mitsuhide was killed while attempting to flee. The incident at Hinonoji marked a significant turning point in the Sekoku period, leading to Toyotome Hideyoshi's rise to power and eventual unification of Japan. And so there is a story that uh, Lord Nobunaga was at Akiche's house or somewhere, and Akiche was feeding his food to Lord Nobunaga, or his wife was feeding Lord Nobunaga, and allegedly Lord Nobunaga dumped, got up and dumped the food in the bushes and stamped it out. Um, I don't know if that's legend or true, but. There was some uh, evidence of mistreatment by Akiche to Akiche. So this may have been the reason that he turned on uh, his lord. Thomas Lockley states that according to Odo family oral tradition, Yasuke was the one who carried Nobunaga's head to his son after Renmaru helped his lord commit seppuku. So, Yasuke was guarding his lord at a spiritual temple. Um, there's maybe a couple hundred men, two, three hundred men, four hundred men, and they look up and it's 10 to 13,000 soldiers. There was no way they were getting out of this. Um, it states that the lord fought well with bow and spear, so Lord Nobunaga was slicing cats before he went down and popping them with the bow. But it was there was no they the those 300 400 were surrounded quickly and um, eventually he retired to his inner chambers to commit suicide. 